This is uh, March 2015 at the new Life Expo. Good. Got that covered? Okay. So what I'm be doing is the cloning of people because you're cloned out by the aliens every 10 minutes. So you're a clone replica for 10 minutes. Another alien race then has you because they can turn time off. You live in time. You live on timelines because you, that's what you bought into. Okay. You were told lie initially, and that's why you're trapped here. So each 10 minutes, a different alien race or a different faction or something out there is controlling your real estate. And they're hoping that for some reason something happens to you or it causes you physical pain or you get emotional. And they live off that energetic energy. So that's, that's when you're living. Now, when they do the time switcher rule, remember, you're like on a computer, the uh, 101010, if you're into knowing about that, you know, that's, you know, so you're on off, on off, on off, on off. But you don't know when you're not here, okay? So the, the space of being not here could be a year. You don't know that. To you, it's linear, right? Just like counting, one, two, three, four, five. Well, it sounds like it's linear, and like that was all done within, say, five seconds. But is it really five seconds? And you don't know where you are when you're not here. So they can turn us off and turn us out, and we don't even know we've been off for five minutes, ten minutes, a year, ten years. We just have no awareness at all of it. No awareness. None. And all you know is what you're seeing. So what, what happens is is you're, you're brought into your programs, which is your thoughts of your ancestors. Okay, so that's in your DNA. And that's your cellular memory of the body. So your body stores these energies inside of it. And then you activate it by listening to something uh, or being told something or watching something on TV or whatever. That, that triggers it. And now you're dealing with that, and that's all your past lives. So your past lives are the thoughts of your ancestors. So right away, you know, you can think how many thoughts you had today, right? You don't know how many. Probably, if, you know, in a day you may have had, what, 10,000 thoughts or something, right? But you don't know that. And that's all stored in your body. Now, that's just for one day. Now take all of your ancestors' thoughts, going back to the get-go. And that's, in, that's stored inside of you. That's all your problems. And the aliens prey upon that. And the word pray, like going to church, when you pray to something outside of yourself, P-R-A-Y, then you're at P-R-E-Y to what you're connecting up with. So, you know, most people say, well, I'm praying to God. Well, what, what God? You know? You know there's, I don't know how many Eastern Indian gods there are, right? There's lots, you know, 300 or so, and there's lots of them. They're going on, he's praying to Jesus. Well, it's a dark side Jesus, because it's true life. You can't take energy. It's impossible, because the light would have to judge it. So if you guys want, since I live out of time, you can come up here, if you want to hold, just touch my hand, and feel what it's like to feel somebody who doesn't exist. Because I don't exist in your reality, even though I'm here. I don't have any energy. I feel nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing at all. Nothing. And this is why psychics, like if you ask a psychic, well, is Rod the real deal? And they'll look at you and they'll go, yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's full of emptiness. Yeah, I have no energy. Anybody else want to come up? You can, if you want, sure. What do you mean exactly by energy? If you mean take energy from me, there's nothing there. I live out of time, so I bilocate to wherever I need to go to, which could be anywhere. Okay, and right now I'm here. So I have to step into your time-based reality, your timeline to talk to you. Another way for me to say it is I'm stepping into your darkness energy because you chose, somehow you chose to separate yourself from source energy, which is peace. Remember, alien energy is mind energy is duality. Okay? And what does that, what does duality do for you? How many in here have been married or fell in love? You know, everybody has, right? How many of you have had, like, you know, heartache or divorces, right? Well, there you go. Is that a good thing? That's your duality. People talk about love. I want to have love in my life. Well, 
you have love over here, right? And as in, maybe it's really, really good love. It's way over there. And that pendulum is going to swing into the really awful, you know, negative of that, okay? So you want to be in the middle. So the aliens gave you mind energies to take you away from peace. In the middle is peace. Everybody following me so far? So you don't want to get stuck in mind energy, although that's what the aliens gave you. So the mind energy puts you on timelines. So what so we'll do in maybe five minutes here is show people coming in. Just, yes, in, go ahead. just in general, the people, all the booths here at the New Life Expo, all the healers, they're all using mind psychic energy. and mind energy. Psychic and mind energy, yeah. And in, and in that world, it's like always commerce. If you get something, you got to give something. Yeah, it's all cause and effect. And, and people carry energy from other people. So when I tell people, don't hug anybody, don't shake hands, they go, oh, well, I can't do that. That's what I have to do every day. You know, well, you're being slimed by those people. Okay? So hold up your, your, your right hand, and I'm going to take away from you the last person that you shook hands with, with or touched, or they touched you. Okay? Here we go. I'll, just count, I'll count to five to command the energy. One, two, three, four, five. There. All that energy is released from you. Does your hand feel lighter? Okay, now we'll do your left hand. Okay, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, there. Does that hand feel lighter? So that was a person that slimed you. It could have been, you know, even your wife or husband or somebody, right? But they gave you their emotional energy, their crud, okay? What they're working on, okay? Their, their, the, the, their DNA, will say, in a sense, which has a lesson in it, okay? Talking new age stuff here, you know, your learning lessons. They gave that to you now. You don't want that. So you hug somebody. So what do you do? Hug them maybe around the shoulders, right? Or the back, right? When you hug somebody. So the last person that hugged you. Are you ready? I'll take that energy away from you. Because you don't need it. It, it. it can kill you eventually. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five. That's released. I'll do it again for five people. Because everybody hugs. One, two, three, four, five. That's the second person. Third person. One, two, three, four, five. Fourth person, one, two, three, four, five, and fifth person, one, two, three, four, five. How does your body feel? What do you mean it can kill you eventually? Because somebody gave you a hack in the past. You're, you're dealing with their energy. They, they can. Let's just say you go. Okay, you go to go to a hospital, right? You have a friend that's in the hospital, and you happen to be walking by maybe ICU where you have uh, 50 people in there with uh, heart conditions. Well, you're going to be picking up that heart condition energy. If it's stored in your DNA that your body, one of your ancestors died of a heart attack, you just got it activated in you. Okay? Just by walking? Just by walking through the energy field. Walking into those rooms. Okay? Yes? What happens then when uh, two people make love? Is that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully it's an enjoyable experience, right? <laughs> Aside from that, what's happening? Well, the aliens can come into you, and you can be actually breeding with an alien. Okay, I don't want to sound scary here <laughs> or something. Uh, uh, so, uh, remember, the, they shape shift. You have, you have all heard of hybrids, right? Hybrid people, alien, human. Well, how are they made, right? You know, they take sperm or eggs from people here, right? And they go to a ship with them, and they grow them, and then they pop them back into the woman. You know, then all of a sudden this thing catches out, we'll say, and then now it looks a little different. So I'll kind of, okay, so how do you tell an alien? Okay, so most aliens will have really long necks. <laughs> look for long neck people. <laughs> and look for the people with the eyes kind of where they would normally would be in a regular person. They're further apart, okay? And they have long fingers. Now, that, that's not bad. I'm not saying that that person is a bad person, being an alien, but they're, it hasn't been bred out of them yet, or they're a test tube sampling from the underground brought up here to live, okay? So look at some of the movie stars, and when you see them, you know, and you go, wow, this person is, you know, was in the movies 20 years ago, and they look like they're 35 years old now, and they're really like 65. What's happening? Well, they just got recreated. A lot of these people have long necks. 
and their eyes are really wide. What, it was long fingers, apart. spread apart, spread Starting, apart. Starting in the yeah, just, just spread apart. <coughs> so that, that type of person would be uh, an alien, more of an alien stock than what you would be, okay? Because you're probably inbred down. Yes? Is there ways to um, block the energy, like if you walk past the... Yeah, shrink wrap. Huh? Yeah, you can do a shrink wrap. So what I'm going to do for you is take your energy right now. I work ICU, and you said ICU. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you, yeah, that's, that's good, ICU, right? <laughs> so, so here we go. I'm going to take your energy field, uh, if you want this. It, it's not going to interfere with anybody else in front of you. So I'm going to take your energy field and put you against the wall. Get ready? Zip. There it is. So right away, you have all the psychic ability. Man, you're seeing all kinds of stuff, feeling things, right? Now I'm going to bring it back to your body. <coughs> Shrink wrap. Zip. Now it's back right, on, right under your body. So right now, you're not sampling. So most psychics will read the body. And they'll normally read like from the second chakra, typically. And uh, they'll try to tune in to you know, the, the energy of fear or whatever, uh, because most people know what fear is. So they'll kind of tune into that of a person to kind of connect to their lessons, et cetera, because a lot of things are in fear. And they give you a reading, because they're reading your energy field. So when you shrink wrap, then you're, you're much more protected. And that way people don't walk across into your field. Yes? What, what is a shrink wrap? Is oh, a shrink wrap, what you're doing is you're telling your physical body, that's commanded, right? You have to tell your physical body to take your auric field, making it very simple here, <coughs> right? You, ener you emanate energy, right? And bring it right to your body. So what I'm going to do for you to show you what it's like. Put your hands like this here and, and kind of feel your life force energy, okay? Feel like a spring tension there? Okay, now, now I'm going to uh, get rid of it so you shrink wrap. There. Now, now try it and see how it feels. Does it go in? There. Not emitting any energy. Now bring it out to where it was before. There. I'll try it. And okay? can we ourselves, we just put the... Of course. Uh, yeah. You just shrink that. If you want to visualize, like, like being in a wetsuit or something, right, or skin tight or whatever, that's fine. That's why I use the word shrink wrap. So that you can do yourself. So if you work in a hospital, as you come into the hospital, you shrink before you Oh, well, definitely. Otherwise, you're getting all these uh, floating arms around and fingers and toes and hearts and lungs. You know, you're walking in there and, ah, here comes a lung, you know, <laughs> I, you know, you know <laughs> cancer. You know, I don't want you, you know, and it'll stick to you. What and and then all of a sudden you go, oh, why do I have lung cancer? Or, uh, you know, I never smoked in my life. Why do I have this illness that people have with smoking? Well, you got into their energy field. So how could you clear that off? If you just learned it out, <coughs> oh, the gentleman shrink wrap. The Here, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment with you. Is that okay? So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is put his energy of working with people in a hospital, and I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'll go back ten days, one day at a time. Okay. The last ten days at his work. Okay. So here we go. First, first energy that he collected. All this crap over there. One, two, and feel the room energy. Just kind of sample it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very sensitive. I'll, I'll go between you, okay? Between the chairs. Okay, one, two, three, four. I'll go above. Okay, thank you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Do you feel lighter? I feel lightheaded. Lightheaded, yeah. Okay, so all this stuff is over here. Wow. Anybody want to walk in it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. You want it back again? No, probably not, right? <laughs> now, if some, oh, so, yeah, I just got rid of if it. If somebody I walks in, would they pick it all up? Oh, of course they would. I so that's see, a I toxic feel it. That's very <laughs> toxic, yeah. That's, so you yeah. can't go out that door. Well, I, I just got rid of it. That's the act over there. So uh -huh. how, how does he now go back and clear everything you have before 10 days ago? Boy, open up a can of worms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on my website, I have one clearing that could work. I have, I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of clearings, okay, of a special clearing. I had all these things of issues and stuff, and it got to be, like, almost overwhelming. Because people would come to me and say, Ron, I got this problem. I have that problem. And so I had to put a clearing up, right? To help. I only had four clearings initially when I put the website up. Now there's probably over a 1,000, okay? And so... Of a special clearing, it's a whole lifetime clearing, and you can go in there and probably clean each day of your life out. 
to get rid of this energy that's on you. Okay, that's what I'd recommend doing. Okay, the whole lifetime clearings, I get $50 off for the Expo Special here. Normally it's just for the emotional, but I'll do it for whatever you want on a whole lifetime. The whole lifetime costs $5 times your age. And I cap it off at $300 for the people <laughs> like myself that are older, you know, ancient, you know. <laughs> so, so, but basically two, two fifty on down, okay? And it takes, uh, I clear each year of your life, uh, it takes about uh, one minute, remember one minute for about two years, okay? And it's done. There's, there's no razzmatazz, no nothing. It's like this here, okay? So that's the way light works. So when you see somebody doing some mumble jumbo, and you, know, you, you know they're not using light, and they, and they can't use light because they're in the mind energy. energy. So practitioners here, like, like Ed was saying, uh, the expo is filled with people who have been taught a skill, okay, and it's all in mind energy because you're, you're stuck in timelines of mind energy and you can't get out of it. So basically, uh, the original humans probably got tired of uh, being in peace and maybe the, the aliens attempted them in a sense to get mind energy, like in the Bible, you know, eating the apple, etc., or whatever, you know. And so then from there you got excitement. When I do a healing, you don't feel anything. You, you don't say, oh man, I got this thing off me, oh this is great, and I'm crying and I'm laughing, you know, you know no. You're, it's your place of peace. There's no reaction to peace. That's because emotions are in the mind field. Yes. So, so you, have a, you have a trauma body, you have an emotional body, you have a mental body, you have a pain body, a uh, sensory body for you psychics out there who are very intuitive, uh, empathic body, uh, there's, there's a few more, a fear body. Okay, so I'll do a sam sample of that, then I'll get you into being uh, uh, real. Uh, okay, you, you, re you read the literature, what do you want me to cover? Because I'm in the moment. I'll do implants first. So anybody have a pain in their body? That could be an implant. I'm not saying that it is, but we'll assume that it is, okay? Wait, wait. Do you also handle etheric implants? Is there such a thing? I handle whatever you have. Mm. Well, I mean, so yeah, yeah, some yeah. psychics have always said I have an etheric implant, but it doesn't do me any damage, it seems. Uh, Are these the alien not. implants bad for you? Uh, <coughs> there's an agenda on them, yes. Uh, Okay, uh, that's a good, I'll answer that question. Uh, so let's say that uh, for some reason uh, you, you went to sleep at night, right? And you happen to wake up and you, you're on a table and you see this big light on top of you and you see these aliens there. And maybe they talk with you through mental telepathy and say, you know, you have a heart condition and we're going to put an implant in you to help you. If they tell you that, okay, we'll just say they do, okay, they don't really don't say anything, but let's just say this is how it's going. And you go, geez, am I going to be dying of this, of a heart condition? Well, yeah, eventually you will, right? Or maybe they took you up because you have two weeks to live. And they go, okay, so, so yeah, fix me. So they put an implant in you and it fixes your heart instantly, okay, with their high technology. And then they beam you back down here again. <coughs> well, what do they give you? Well, they're probably already checking you, checking on you anyway. And your whole family line probably has abduction history, okay? So is the implant good? Well, to make you live longer, yes. But what do they give you in exchange, okay? They're, they're, they're tracking you. And they may give you something else. I worked with one lady uh, probably 20 years ago. She goes, Ron, uh, you know, I know I got up on ships, and they gave me cancer. But the cancer is not going to kill me. But my body hurts a lot, and I'm in pain a lot because I have cancer. Okay, but they say they'll keep me alive for probably 20 years because they're experimenting with me with cancer. So I, I helped her out with that, okay. So for her, she didn't die instantly, but they are, they are going to, it is going to kill her. But to keep her alive to have her suffer so you can see what the cancer is doing. So anyway, that's, that's one way to look at it. So uh, are implants good? Possibly. But what's the trade-off, okay? And normally they don't ask your permission. So, you know, if an alien walked through that door right now and showed up and scared the hell out of you because it had sharp teeth, you know, and it's dripping saliva, you know, and he wants to eat you, you know, and he says, I want to help you out, you'd probably run the hell out the other door and be gone, right? <laughs> so, so uh, uh, but, but basically, if they came here and, you know, they landed the ship and they say, we're really the good aliens here and we don't live in duality, but we're here, we're here to help you, and they actually did something like that and helped everybody here. 
like cleaning the, the water up, right? You know. So anyway, I won't get into all this stuff here. That's just stuff that people talk about. Yes. Ron, I have recurring lung infections. I've been to some of the top oh, okay. specialists. They don't know anything about okay. it. Is there any way those clearings would help that? Oh, of course. I can't. I, I won't guarantee it's going to fix you. But yeah, see what happens is this is what I, what perfect example. Perfect. Thank you. So you're on a timeline, and aliens have you. Different races, we'll say, you know, tall ones, short ones, whatever. Every ten minutes. So they bought your real estate. They own you for ten minutes. And in that 10 minutes, they're hoping to have you have an emotional situation or maybe having pain, which they can live off of that energy, okay? So maybe you're peaceful. So they lost out. Now the next race has you, remember? And so each time you get connected to a different alien race, they have to recreate the complete hologram of you and all your surroundings. That's a lot of film footage, you know, a lot of stuff, okay? So we don't know what's <coughs> outside this window, and I'm sure that it does not exist to us because it would be extra data that they have to create for us. If I open that curtain up, they go, oh man, Ron did it. Now we've got to get out and we've got to manifest everything out there. Do you follow me? So you don't know what's out there until you look, and it's not even there. It doesn't exist. Is this room behind me there? No. Not in your reality. If people are in it, then it's in their reality, but, but for you, it doesn't exist, and for them it doesn't exist either. So we're projecting from inside us everything we see and touch and... Well, well, they're projecting it for you. But it's being projected... For you to see. From out of us, or from them? From them. So outside of us. Outside, outside of you. So, what's your question is, since you have a physical condition, so you have this, this condition now, okay? So your ten minutes comes up, and the next day in a race has, you remember I said, you don't know when you're not here. So they stop time, say, for a year, right, to make it more analog for you. And in that year's time, they now got to put your glasses on, recreate your body, have your shoes polished, put the clothing on you, create this whole room, create everybody in here. So they have all these uh, uh, people behind the scenes doing this. And then they turn you back on, and now you're here. Now, if you notice, sometimes when you talk to people, they'll glitch for about 10 seconds. So if you just get turned on and you have people in front of you and they're going through maybe they're at the ninth, ninth minute, you know, and 9.1 minutes, you can you start talking to them. Their 10 minutes come and all of a sudden they look up, you know, or do something and their body changes a little bit and they lose reality. And then all of a sudden they got have to get reprogrammed for what you're talking about, okay? And if you just watch people, you can say, yeah, this person just glitched out, you know. They just, got, they just came in new. Or you might be talking to them and, and you ask them a question that you explain to them and they go, what did you say? I don't understand what you're talking about. Because they weren't here. It wasn't in their program. So that's the that's clone humans. So with, with now we'll get back to your thing. So now the, the next alien race gets you. So of course they're going to give you a, a, your lung condition or whatever because you had it in the last life. Which one of these is like a lifetime for you. In 10 minutes, okay? You guys following this here? So all of a sudden you go from this alien race, and I have this shirt on, right? We'll say. Next one, they can't just have my, my T-shirt on, right? they got to put this on me, too. So your physical body has all these conditions done to it. So we're going to do the cloning process. So here we go. Uh, what I'll do is work with, uh, uh, if, if you want this, uh, you guys can stand up on this side of the room. Okay, just stand up. And I want uh, people, maybe you can face these guys. And, and, and you guys over here, just watch them. <coughs> and, and, and pick one person. And I'm going to count probably up to maybe 150. Uh, and what's going to happen is, each time I do a number count, that alien race that had your property for 10 minutes, or is going to have it, now lost their contract with you. With and, them and they get terminated with them. And so you're going to find... A lot of times their bodies will kind of jerk or shift. They might get taller, might get fatter, might get skinnier, okay, whatever. And they'll start looking different to you. So here we go. And, and just kind of notice yourself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anybody feeling warmer? 
feel your hands. You might feel like you have more lubrication in your hand because you're becoming more human. Remember, before you were a cloned human. Okay? And just watch the people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. Anybody jerking or twitching that you've noticed? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. One, oh, you guys are good. Only about a hundred uh, aliens uh, had you for ten minutes. So here we go. Coming in. Count to five to become human. One, two, three, four, five. There. Uh, how does your bodies feel? And then how do the people look across the room here? Do they look like mannequins? Do they look like <laughs> like they don't exist? Like like you're looking in a movie set? My shoulders feel more relaxed. Like it, it doesn't feel like I'm carrying a weight on it. Okay. Yeah. So how, how do you people feel over here? Want to comment? Lighter. Lighter? I was moving towards the left. Moving towards the left, okay. Anybody in the back they want to talk? Anybody feel a change? It's subtle, but, but watch the people. But look at everybody on this side of the room who just had this. Look at each other, and you're going to see them glowing. And you feel their energy because they're humans. So we took three hours a month that you normally would have, and now we brought you back here. Okay, you can sit down if you like. Okay, now we'll do the people on the other side of the room. You can stand up if you would. So if we have it done yesterday and now it's done again, what happens? You got off more timelines. Oh, more timelines. More timelines, yeah. You, you can be on a thousand timelines. So everybody over on this side, you just had a look at them. And if you look at each person, they're going to look like they're mannequins. Like they're in the fishbowl on, on the movie set. And then look at each other, and you're going to see that they're glowing. They look real. Okay, here we go. So I'll, I'll first count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you may start to feel the energy changing as you become more human. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. And, and watch the people here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. One two three four five six seven eight nine one ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine one twenty. One two three four five six seven eight nine one thirty. One two three four five six seven eight nine one forty. One. There we go. Coming in now. Be human. One two three four five. There. How's your body's feeling? Relaxed. Relaxed. Light. Light. Okay. And look at the people over here now. They'll look like you, in a sense, because they're going to have energy before. They had energy and you didn't have it, and now you all look, look like you're humans. There is one so, interesting thing that happened was when I looked at them at first, they were blurry, now they're sharp. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I looked this, uh, as if you had glasses on now. Uh huh. Full of the glasses. Yeah, that's a good, very good comment. Oh, wow. So now, see, I'm here all the time watching you. Now I see humans. Before I was talking to replicas. Okay? So now we have less timelines. Now you're off of those timelines that the aliens had you. Okay. And so the, the next question is, well, I'm human. So how long can I stay human? Normally, you're, you're three hours a month. Okay? Now, you're, only, you're here three hours a month normally because they have to connect the replicas to your GPS. And the GPS has your skeleton in it. And they wrap around this stuff onto your skeleton. So that's your GPS landing point. So how long can you stay human? Well, you're going to stay human as long as you don't <coughs> think a lot. Okay, that'll, that'll put the hook in your mouth, right? So you don't want to do that. <laughs> but uh, mainly, if you get upset, they got you. So just don't get upset. Or happy. Or happy. Perfect. Or happy. <coughs> just, just be neutral. 
and the aliens are going to come by and go, oh, this person's neutral. There's no emotional energy there. Mm. But now you're not hooked up. Once you get hooked up, now you're now it's like a feeding frenzy for fish, you know. What? what yes. Is, what effect, if any, do um, drugs have? Drugs. Drugs normally take you out of your body, and then who's mining the fork? So that's bad. The aliens would be yeah, yeah. controlling you then. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so there are, you know, uh, I'm talking about like smoking pot or something, you know, with drugs. You may have prescriptions. That's, I don't know about prescriptions. If it does anything with your mind to alter it, then you're not. Then your spirit leaves you, and then you're just an open vessel for all this, these alien shapeshifters to come into you. Whatever is out there, emotional bodies of people, entities, which I call ghosts, will come into you. So that's why I say don't meditate. So I'll do the mind to heart drop. So this is what you want to do. If you're meditating, just take that and say, oh, been there, done that. I'm not going to waste my life. Maybe it takes an hour for you to meditate. Maybe it takes you four hours to try to find peace. So you're finding peace in the mind energy, in, the, in darkness, thinking that you got connected to source energy. No way. You're still in mind energy. Listening to the CD, right, of the music and the guided meditation going up and down someplace, and then you go out to the Beyondo. And then at the very end, to, to prove that I'm right about being out of your body, they say, well, I'll be here now. We hold your toes move your body around, right? They always have that on the meditation tapes, otherwise you're out of your body. That's dangerous. Well, it's dangerous to be out of your body to begin with. Or maybe you're in a meditation group and everybody's back home, we'll say, right? And you look at this person and they're like, all blissed out with their eyes kind of fluttering, you know, and they're there and they go, well, you know, somebody please touch that person to get them back in their body. Well, they're telling you, you know, the, the worst thing that could happen to you. You just don't catch on. So, what do you want to do to get rid of meditation, okay? So, the first thing is you want to do the mind to heart drop. Fifteen seconds. And you're... Uh, I, I, I did that yesterday in, uh, in the light chamber. And, uh, Good, yeah. I, I felt in the moment. Yes. Yeah. So, here we go. Mind to heart drop. Uh -huh. So, you have to command your spirit out loud. We'll all do it together. To take the thoughts in my head and drop them into my heart. So we'll just say it out loud. So I now command my spirit. Take the thoughts in my head and drop them into my heart. So that's that's the you got to memorize that, okay? Now you want to count uh, from ten to one backwards, and you can actually feel, and I'll stop it, I'll do it first for you, but I'll stop at five. And you're gonna find your thoughts that you normally have up here, right? You're gonna feel it in your throat. Here we go. So Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Now think. It's very interesting to have your, <coughs> your thoughts here. Okay, now we'll continue down. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to say it out loud three times together. Now, I could say it ten times, but three times works fine. Okay, I'm not trying to do something with number three. But here we go, dropping down. Say it out loud. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you probably can feel your energy getting out of duality. Okay, you go, you're coming into peace. Do it one more time. Or, or twice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's simple. Fifteen seconds. And you're going to be walking down the street, say, I want to become heart-centered, which means you're in the now, which means that you're in peace. You're off of, you're not active on the timeline that you're on, okay? Before that, you're in duality. Still on the timeline, so let's just stop that timeline to put you into the now on that alien timeline. So now the alien races go, oh, wait a minute, this person's not reacting, what's going on here? Well, nothing's happening. That ten minutes goes by, they go... We don't want this person. We can't do anything with them. So well, what will happen is somebody will jar you out of that peace. Okay, so right now, and I'll do it, I'll do it one more time because I'm talking, because you're listening. So I'll drop you right down. Zip, now you're in your heart. Okay? So now try to think. Think really, really hard. Try to think. Okay? But all I want, <coughs> I want to think. You can't think. So source energy means you don't think. There's no communication, no words in source energy. Now to, now, to connect another dot, that's what psychics do. That's what people do. You know, you go to somebody at a table and they're channeling, right? Oh, I'm channeling uh, Archangel Michael. Well, 
And is that of light? Oh yeah, it's of light. It's the best light there is, Archangel Michael. Well, it doesn't exist in, law, in source energy. You guys connecting dots? That, that's the lie. Okay? None of those religious icons will ever come to you. They can never talk to you. But if they do, they could give you some information that might be maybe helpful, but it's the darkness. It's what I call the light of the darkness. So, that's why there's peace. Peace is source energy. You lost peace. The original part of you that came here chose a body and the aliens got a hold of it and put you into reincarnation, into mind energy. And you keep recycling and recycling and recycling and recycling. So when you're first here, you were 100% of whatever came here into that body. And because you thought and got switched into the alien agenda of duality, they stole part of your spirit. So we'll say you first came here and you had 100% of you. And they stole 1% for the next lifetime. So now you come back at 99%. So when you come back, it means that you go through the white light tunnel and you see that whatever you believed in as far as your religious deity, if that's what you needed to believe, see your parents and everything else, so it's very friendly. So the aliens have to come in and clean off your spirit. So when you die, you're traumatized. It's like your spirit's like an emotional body. So when you die and your spirit leaves you, then at that point it has to be cleaned off to have all of its source energy brought forward so that when you reincarnate again, the aliens can use you with your spirit energy. So you start off fully vibrant like a baby, all, all your spirit's with you, which is probably maybe 1% or less than what you had when you first came here a long time ago, but it's still good. Don't have any guilt about that because you thought of all these things and you got contaminated and you came in with less in this lifetime than you had in the last lifetime. It doesn't make any difference. What you have is what you have, okay? So, and as you think and do more spiritual practices here, if you do that in mind energy, you're losing your spirit. They'll steal it from you, okay? That's why you don't want to do all this stuff. You never want to go outside of yourself. The teachings of Jesus, the kingdom is within. What does that mean? You don't go outside of yourself. Hello, he knew about aliens. The Logic Federation killed him, okay? The Space Brothers, supposed to protect him, killed him. So he didn't die for your sins. He got killed because he was helping people. Okay? And plus, you know, you look at the blood of Christ and this and that and the other, right, that they talk about in the churches. Well, we're talking about the aliens eating people. They're cannibals. Okay? <laughs> just, just start connecting the dots. It's okay if you want to stay here with the, with the, the baby. Okay. So the, the main thing is, is you want to stay peaceful. So how do you do that? Very simple. All you do is do the mind of heart drop. If you walk out on the street, yeah, maybe you see something that's really, you know, upsetting to you. Do the mind of heart drop. You're out of that reality. Okay? If you get tied into it emotionally, now you're on that other roller coaster ride on a whole other timeline. And you could be on thousands of timelines at once with a thousand different issues. So what can happen is you can have a, a problem, like what Sean was saying, and they replicate them each time every 10 minutes with that, uh, say, lung condition, okay? So once you become human and you can hold that frequency and you do clearings to get this gunk off of you, that's what my website is about, it's about clearing you. I don't give you anything but, but, but source energy of peace, okay? So you see these healers out there, I'm going to do this attunement, I'm going to give you a thousand attunements for everything, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to put hands on, do the DJ or whatever, you know, whatever they're doing. That's all mind energy crap. You're going further down that rat hole, okay? So, yes? Ron, does that also work with stuff that's like non-physical, like, uh, let's say, claustrophobia? Does that yeah, also yeah. work with that? Yes, it, it could, yes, because that's all the thoughts of your ancestors coming forward in this lifetime. It's all, it's all an issue, doesn't matter what it is. So what I'll do is a, a pain clearing for people. So uh, people who have pain, want to raise your hand? Okay, so uh, the pain one I have to keep doing, uh, I just can't click one. So here we go. So pain, so releasing pain, one, two, three. I'm working with your pain body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got to do entities first. Okay, uh, let me start over. Entities get attracted to you. These are emotional bodies of people who croaked, who died, okay? And so these people now have a condition, <coughs> you know, if you stub your toe, you're going to be dealing with people who have a stubbed toe or maybe their toe amputated or foot amputated, just that general area. So 
like, like we did with the gentleman here who worked in the hospital, we took all the stuff from all these stuff, right, from the people <laughs> as patients, okay? So now you, you have a hurt tell, so you're going to be collecting entities who want to steal your energy. They have to live with, the, they need energy. So they go, ah, hurt tell, great, I need that energy. So they come into your body. And you can also take on their, their stuff along with changing your personality if they really like your body. Okay, then you're possessed. But here we go. So, so think of your pain. So we're going to get rid of, rid of entities first. And this may even fix you. So here we go. Entity uh, clearing. This I have on my website too, a whole lifetime entity clearing. So uh, we'll just see what, i got to count to about 40. So take out 40 entities. Or maybe, maybe 400. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 50. So more. 1, 2, 3. There. They're released. So did your pain subside? Okay. So entities got attached to you because they have a condition <coughs> you had your condition. So why, have a, why is that? Why do they say, oh, I like that, or I need that, or they, they gravitate they need to life, yeah, yeah. They need life force energy to live, and you're the host. So they come into you. So, so I now increase my life force energy? No, no, you want, well, no, you okay. want, want to do your entity clearing. Oh, I see. Okay. So you have pain. First thing is entities. <coughs> okay, next thing is your pain body. <laughs> now I'm to work with your pain body. Here we go. So pain body clearing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, there we go. There. So now I just cleaned out your pain body for your issue that you're having on this timeline that you're living on. You could still be on a thousand timelines with that new problem. But if the alien race, and you can still be there even in the past, okay? But at some point, it might not be as effective because you're not on that same timeline now. Remember, your past is always with you. So you can be on timelines, you know, when you first stubbed your toe when you were two years of age, and they've taken your energy, okay? But right now, when the next alien race gets you, we'll say, if you get out of the where you are now, okay? Because right now you're human, okay? And you're in control of your reality. But when you get into their 10-minute cycle, then the next race can put you onto a thousand timelines too, like, like the previous race. And they just copy and paste, okay, all your conditions. So when you do the clearings that I have on my website, it can take you off of those timelines. I have a timeline uh, clearing. What is your website? Creationlightship.com. My booth is, my booth is, is uh, 352. Oh. The light infusion chamber there. If you can afford 20 bucks, go into it. Yeah, and, and the light infusion chamber makes it easy to do the mind the heart drop. Yeah, it, it cleans you off. You can see, you see how he looks? He was at yeah. the lecture yesterday. Yeah. He went in the chamber last night. He snuck in, in a sense, because they're closing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but see how he's glowing? Yes. You, you can yeah. see it. Uh -huh. and that's, that's one session, and, and two of these, this, yesterday and today. Okay? So, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, any questions? Yes. Where, where do the aliens come from? How many races are there? And thousands. Thousands. Who knows where? They're all in duality. It makes no difference. Uh, if you want to see aliens, okay? If you really want to see an alien, go on YouTube. And we have a lot of pictures of bombing in the Middle East, okay? Because they want to show you those, right? What's happening. And just look for those clouds of the debris coming up. They're normally dark colored because you're getting dirt and everything else, right? Or the atomic bomb, you can look at that one. And, you know, hit pause and play, pause and play, pause and play. And as you start seeing this, this cloud, five minutes, thank you. You start seeing that little cloud coming up from the ground, right, with the debris. And you're going to pause it. You're going to start seeing alien faces in there. And then do play and pause. You know, do it maybe every half a second, right? And as it starts getting larger, they are going to show up instantly. And they're at ground level. And that cloud it just happens to be forming around that alien because that stuff is, you know, collecting to it. And, and look at all the tornadoes and hurricanes that you see. Some look, you know, really off, you know, off. They're like, like, I look down and I go, oh God, you know, 
you know, hundreds of aliens in those things. And then look at your ship clouds. You know, all, all, the, all the clouds that you see now are flat bottom. Maybe once or twice uh, out of a month you might see a round puppy cloud, okay? But you're going to see all flat bottom clouds. Those are alien ships harvesting you, sucking your energy out. What do they do when they leave? They need energy from you, you know. So, so we're their food supply, the yeah. human race. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You're the little battery, little Everetti battery there, a little funny rabbit, you know. You know what? What also does talisman do that? In other words, there was a talisman being sold called the harmonic, I believe, projector from Fred Bell, and whenever you put that on, your aura <coughs> completely shrunk as if the energy had left your body and uh, they were supposed to be Pleiadians so it's possible through the talisman they were sucking the energy out of the body the minute you took it off the aura expanded yeah, I can't make any comment on, <laughs> <laughs> on that but uh, I think you foul here <laughs> okay yes um, earlier on you said you had people come up and touch you and they couldn't feel your energy and you said, made the statement I'm not here. Yeah. How can we see you and hear you? I, I'm, I'm projecting myself here. So I'm from where? From source energy. Okay. So source can project into our reality, a manifestation mm -hmm. of itself, and we call this rod, and we mm -hmm. talk with it, and mm -hmm. whatever, and you take out all the attributes of a human. Yes. Okay, now another statement you made is, you're in the here and now, and you don't remember anything before two minutes ago. Yeah, we've been friends for years. How do you remember me? How does that happen? I have a small database. Very, very small. So, see, if I had to remember all, all the stuff that I talked about, and if I had to remember, like, all of you, I, 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 you know, I recognize you when I see you, because that's in a <coughs> small little database. But, if I was, but, but you don't recognize us <coughs> when you don't see us. No, you're, you're, meaning, you're, you're, you're like you, you, you don't think about us when we're not here. No, not at all. Okay, no. because if I did, I, I would have DNA that would be activated to store the information. I don't have that. That's why I can do healings. Because you're always I'm, in the moment. You're I'm not always in the thinking moment. about us. No, when we're not here. Okay. Yeah, sorry. and and the energy of doing. Okay, you don't want to ever be a healer because you you will take on every illness that your client has had and it will come into your body. It may not get you right now, but it will get you sometime during your life because it will activate your DNA of that problem. Okay? And so, what's a, heal what's a healing that everybody has been using that's very popular? Reiki. That's a mind energy. you got symbols, right? And you're tuning into something, and the symbols are alien. So you're using an alien healing, sy healing system that's corrupting you and the person that you're working on. It's mind control energy. And, and it can help people. I'm not saying that all this stuff is bad. It is definitely bad when you look at, when you get above it or look down on it. But it's all mind control. And so that alien race that gave Dr. Yasui uh, the Reiki symbols, uh, some other alien race probably doesn't like it. And there's alien wars. That's why we have wars here. The aliens are fighting out there and they transmit to the ground crew here their information and we have wars. And remember, all the wars that we have here, it's because of somebody not liking somebody else. Okay? So if you think of the Middle East, naturally, you know, if some bombers came and they blew up your town, you're not going to like whoever those people were. And that gets passed on from generation to generation, so all of a sudden now you have a hatred toward this particular type of people, or race of people, or whatever, village of people. Well, would and, that be alien all, energy or source yeah, it, energy? It's all alien. Okay. So that energy that you're dealing with is they're, they're programming you, you know, very, very strongly, and they don't like people. If you ask anybody anywhere that they want to, you know, uh, get shot and get killed, they're going to say no, but yet they do that, okay, thinking that they're uh, above dying, okay, immortal. But anyway, that's, that's a whole different different thing. But that's all mind control, you know. And it, it's, it's very sad. Yes? If you take care of somebody that's sick, I take care of my mother who's very sick, can I get her illnesses? Yes, you can. Uh-huh. So? Well, first of all, you already have your mother's illnesses. 
-hmm. Your mother has an illness. The illness came from her DNA. And that's passed on to you. And your grandmother may have had that same illness. That got passed on to your mother, and now it's passed on to you. And if you have children, it's passed on to them. Okay? So it just got activated in all, in all of you. By taking care of that. Or not? Yeah, well, that's even stronger, because now it's physical. Before, it's in your DNA. If you, if you don't activate the DNA, okay, you're not going to get it. Okay, let's just say that, uh, and i, I got to work real quick here. Let's just say that uh, uh, you never heard of, heard of cancer before, right? A lot of you, are, you know, it's gone. You, know, you don't even know what cancer is, right? And then all of a sudden, somebody says, you know, there's cancer. Well, uh-oh, that activated cancer in you. Okay? So and so now you start, so now you're going to generate cancer from all your ancestors because you push that cancer button, okay? Get the people wearing those, I guess the little pink pink ribbons, you know, for cancer, you know, you see that? Shit, that's wearing the t-shirt for cancer. And everybody who has cancer is going to be connected to that, that uh, it's like a keyword. I have, I have alien keywords on my website. You know, so you, what you do is you want to get out of the keywords that you hear all the time, because that's the tracking device, and that sets you up. And I probably got to leave here in about a minute, so I, I can go on for hours. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so what do you do if you really have well, what to do you do with your, what, what do you do with your mother? First thing for your mother, what you do is you go online and you do a whole lifetime emotional clearing. That's her stuff that caused her problem. You do yourself. Same clearing, okay? Uh, and then from there, you want to probably work with entities on your mother. And then maybe work on her pain body, and then from there see how she's developing. And I have a clearing, which is a, uh, a bu healing bundle, uh, which is uh, a uh, body jump start, I think, clearing. So anybody have any questions? Is this workshop or, or lecture good for all of you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you got, oh, so, so when you mentioned.